Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Blungo.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to verify your domain for three different Zoho apps. We're going to start with the CRM, and then move to campaigns and desk. I'm going to be giving you some tips along the video, so make sure to watch till the end. I also made a blog post that is linked in the description, where you can find the written step-by-step -step tutorial, as well as the tips. Alright, let's get started. Here we are in the CRM, so let's click on the setup. And then we're going to go to email under channels. And then on the email deliverability tab, we're going to click there. And then we're going to click where it says add domain. And here we're going to type an email address that you have access to that has the domain. So let's click on add domain. And now an email with the code will be sent to your email. So let's open the email. And that's the code that we're going to use to verify the domain. So let's copy it and then back to the CRM. We're going to click where it says enter code. And we're going to paste it and click on verify. We just verified the domain, but now we have to add the records to our CRM. So let's click on validate records. And there are two records that we have to add. We're going to start with the SPF record first because it's the simpler to add. And then we're going to add the other one. So on SPF, let's click on this icon to copy it. And then we're going to go to our domain register. In this case, this is my admin panel and I use GoDaddy, but for you it might be slightly different. So what you have to try to find is the DNS section. So in this case, I'm going to click on manage DNS. And then I'm going to scroll down and click on the add button to add a record. In this case, the SPF is a text record. So we're going to select text. And the name is going to be at. And then we're going to paste the value that we just copied. The TTL is default. And we're going to click on add a record. And we just added our first record to our DNS, the SPF record. Now back to the CRM. And we have to add the DKIM record. This is slightly different. We have two sections that we have to add. The first one is this number this is the name of the record so we're just going to select it and copy it and we're going to go back to our dns records and click on add again and then select a text and this is the name which we just copy is the name so we're going to paste it here back to the crm and then copy the value or the second section that we have to add and here we're just going to paste it and the detail again is the default, and we're going to click on add a record. This message is asking us to make sure that the name field is correct. In this case, the second option doesn't look good because the domain at the end is showing twice. So we're going to stay with the first option. Maybe this is something that GoDaddy asks. I'm not sure if your domain register is going to ask for this, but in this case, just make sure that you're selecting the right one. So we're going to click on save. And that's it, the record has been added. Now let's scroll down and go to the second page where we can see up here that the record is here. Now back in the CRM, we're gonna click on validate records. And that's it, the records have been validated and now you can send emails through the CRM using your domain. Here we're in Zoho CRM, so let's click on settings and on domain authentication. And if your domain doesn't show up here, you can add it by clicking on the add sender button on the top right corner. All right, let's click on setup. And these are the two records we have to add to our domain. First, we have to add the SPF record, but because we already added an SPF record to our DNS already, we just have to edit it and add just the section that is not there already. So in this case, we're just going to copy the middle section that says include and then we're going to go back to our DNS management and find the SPF record that we added before. And we're going to click on edit. And then we're going to paste where we just copied somewhere in between. So right here looks good. Paste and we're going to add the space to the end. Now we're going to click on save. And the record has been edited and you can see it right there. Now back to Zoho campaigns and we're going to add the second record. So we're going to copy the name right here. And we're going to go 
to the domain register and click on add. We're going to select a text record. The name is what we just copied. So paste it here. And then in campaigns, we're going to copy the second section, the value. And we're going to paste it right there. Now let's click on add a record. And this is the same message that we got before. If you're having issues with verifying your domain, you can try to select the second option and see if that helps. But in this case, I'm just going to keep the first option. So let's click on save and the record has been added. We can scroll down and go to the second page. And the record is right there. Now back to Zoho campaigns and we're going to click on the verify domain button. And that's it. The domain has been verified. Keep in mind that it might take up to 40 hours for the domain records to be updated. This is Zoho desk. So let's click on the setup. And now we're going to go to email. And on from address, we're going to click on the plus button. Here we're going to add a from address. So your email address. And we can also add a name and click on save. And the email address has been added. Now we just have to verify it. So let's go to our email and open the email and click on the link that we just got. This is the verification link. So that's it. We just added our first from address. Now let's open the authentication tab. And if you don't see a domain here, it is because first you have to add the from address email like we did in the previous step. So first you do that and then you're going to see the domain here. Now let's click on verify. And these are the records that we have to add. And just as so before, we have an SPF record. So we're going to edit the SPF record that we already have in our domain. And then we're going to add the DKM configuration records. For the SPF, I'm just going to add a section that I don't have. So it's this one right here because I know that I already have the other one. And back to our domain manager and we're going to scroll down and find the SPF record that we have to edit. So click on edit. And then we're going to paste the information anywhere in between. So right here looks fine. Let's paste it and add a space at the end. And we're going to click on save. And the record has been edited. So let's go back to desk and we are going to add these other two records. So instead of one, we have two here and we have to add them both. So let's copy the first one. This is the name and scroll up. Click on add and it's going to be a text. And let's paste the name here. And then the value we're going to copy from desk. And paste it right here. And we're going to click on add record. And here we're going to click on save. All right, now let's go back to desk and copy the second record. So this is the name. Click on add. It's going to be a text record. Paste the name here and then copy the value and paste it right here and click on add record. Then here we're going to click on save and we got an error here. This is because we already added this record before when we were trying to verify the CRM. So we don't have to add it again. We can close this error message with the X. Let's switch back to desk and click on the verify button. And that's it. The domain has been verified and now you can send emails through Zoho desk. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. If you're a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we made a Zoho one class that covers how to configure and integrate the top 10 Zoho one apps. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching.